Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now today, I'm going to be transplanting my little Cory Panther Borwigii cactus plant seedlings. Now, I call them seedlings, but they're a bit bigger than that really. I actually sowed these seeds back in, it was 2015, I think it was May 2015, five, over five years ago. And they're still in the same containers. They're very, very, were very, very slow growing. The Cory Panthers um, are sort of slow growing, but now, so sort of the past year, they've really took on a, a lot of growth. And as you can see, they're absolutely desperate to be transplanted. I've never transplanted these since the day I sowed them. These are they're still the same pots I sowed them in over five years ago. And I put them in the, the baggy method, took the bags off, and they're still like that. I fertilise them regularly, so they're, they're pretty okay, doing healthy enough. But as you can see, they're way past their transplanting date. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, these particular cactus seeds from this, this plant here were actually gifted to me from my wonderful friend Martin who I know that lives here in Ireland in Dublin so hi Martin if you're watching this these uh, were seeds from your amazing Cory Panther and uh, these are all the little seedlings and very very excited to be transplanting them when I should have really done it a long time ago you know what it's like guys we plant jobs there's always so much to do I think I must do that I must do that so here we go now, what I've done here, I've got a, a special well-draining cactus mix here, and it, it consists of four equal parts of a loam-based soil, L-O-A-M, because people will say, what you're saying, Lynn, it's loam. Um, in this case, I'm using John Innes number two, mixed with um, lava rock and pumice and grit at four equal parts and I like to use this well draining cactus mix that um, my wonderful friend Daz from Cacti Mania here on uh, YouTube recommended and since I've been switching over to using that with a lot of cacti they are thriving very well draining mix and if you want to know how to make this particular cactus soil then links up above to a video um, of Daz's video on how to make cactus and succulent soil and also I'll link the, the video down below as well. And also if you want to know how to grow cacti from seed, then do check out a video I have made on how to grow cacti from seed. Links also up above and also down below in the video description. So here we go guys. So that's the soil mix. That's a little bit about these cuties. Five years, over five years old and still in the same pot. So these need potting up. Now obviously I've got all the plant labels there to write the labels out and a, a pen, permanent marker pen that doesn't fade or wash off. And uh, got the pots ready. Don't really know what to size pot as such strictly speaking until I actually take them out and look at the root systems but looking at the size of them here there's about four very large ones so I'm going to be potting these up in these clay pots here I love clay pots but they're like gold dust to find they're going in that and then I've got these other little plastic five centimeter pots which are great for potting on young seedlings better still if you can get them in clay but again very hard to find but some of these then can go into here now some of them are still believe it or not that's five years old look at the difference in, in the size between that one and that one but they've been restricted in the in such a small container so I think once I pop them on they're going to grow much bigger but obviously that little one it's it's too uh, tiny to go into a pot like that so there's about a few little tiny ones I might pop probably two or three together in the same little pot until they get larger but most of them can have their own little pots so that's a bit about that and um, what are we doing then is is obviously get loosening the soil separating them from the roots that's always a tricky thing because that a lot of the the cacti when they grow like this when they're seed well these are bigger than seedlings obviously but the roots often get very matted together and you have to tease them out to transplant them that can be a bit tricky don't know what i'm faced with until i do it on this but i'm going to show you how i do it and how to do it should you want to transplant your cactus seedlings and these aren't strictly seedlings as i say five years old but they're not mature plants either so here we go guys let's get going now I start with this one first and luckily I've used these plastic containers that sort of got tomatoes in and things like that they're great for sowing seeds in and as I say I mentioned more whoops might get a little container here just to catch all the uh, all the soil and go in absolutely everywhere and loosen it up and then tip it out like a sandcastle and uh, throw that away 
Ah, here we go. Now the tricky thing is separating these little cuties. And uh, the soil I used actually on this five years ago is not a lot different to the soil I'm using now, um, except I've got sand in it. Um, I used a lot of grit, pearl, I think I used pumice as well at the time. I can't remember now, I think I did. It feels like it anyway. But obviously this is well used, this soil now. So what I'm gonna be doing is gently teasing the little cuties away, as you can see there. Hopefully they'll come away without too much teasing of the roots because it's inevitable to, to um, I don't want to damage them but luckily enough they seem to be separating easy enough that one is uh, gone as you can see dry as a bone as they say so that's no good the one that's coming away easy enough there you go <laughs> wonderful on there and uh, also easing them gently teasing a lot of them up here coming away very easy so that's great and what you want to do is obviously when you gently loosen the soil off from the roots is to check the roots over to check there's no signs of root mealy bugs and things like vine weevils and all the other type of pests that like to hide in the soil and just let you know that this is perlite in here because this often looks like root mealy bugs but it is just perlite I think it's pumice actually that I use so um, not a problem there but uh, double check the roots look healthy enough as you can see very good so I'm going to be doing that with all of these now and then show you what it looks like when they're all done now I just want to mention obviously when you're checking the roots I've just noticed on a couple of these there's a tiny bit of little white type of powder now as I mentioned there's perlite in here and pumice but I don't like the look of that powder often root mealy bug can show signs of that now usually you can tell if it's root mealy bug if you squeeze it and it gives off a bit of a juice this is completely dry and I know when I potted first sowed these seeds the John Innes I used had little tiny bits of white powder in it it was an added fertilizer and I think that's what it is but I'm not taking any chances so I'm just very gently going over the roots where I can see this white tiny I don't know if you can see it on there for example here there it is where you can see a tiny white powder, no sign of root millibug as such, but as I say, I'm not taking no chances. And I'm wiping it off with rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol on there. And um, it's a dry pretty much straight away before I pot it up. And then what I'll probably do is once I potted these up, I won't water them for a week anyway. Then when I do give them their first watering, I'm gonna water them with a neem oil uh, into the soil. And if there is any signs of remaining um, root millies, if there is any, then um, they will knock them, knock them dead. The root mealy, mealy bugs, not the plants. <laughs> but no, I think it's pretty much okay. But I just want to mention that because if I see any signs of anything that could look a little bit suspicious, I want to treat. So this is a little bit of rubbing alcohol in here. So um, there you go, guys. Now that's the first container, all emptied, and the roots all checked there. And as I said, just dabbed over with a bit of the rubbing alcohol just to be 100% of any sort of strange looking white bits. Um, but pretty sure they're okay. And um, now I'm going to be doing the next container. So again, loosen it up here and tipping it out like a sandcastle. It's a good thing about these plastic containers, they're easy to to get out a bit of a mess I'm making I know but there we go and then the same thing again and gently loosening up all the soil and then pulling them all pulling them all apart there we go luckily they're coming away pretty easy here again and then I'm gonna loosen up the roots check the roots over again and they show you what they look like when they're all done now that's all of them all taken out the containers and the roots all checked and I think the white powder, looking at it closely, I think it's actually just sort of lime from when I used to live in the south of Ireland a couple of times, if you ran out of rainwater, I'd have to use the tap and it was very high in lime. As you can see here, there's a bit of white around the edge in there and I think it's from the lime, from the water. Couldn't see any signs of root, but it's best to say, just to be extra careful, I treated it with the rubbing alcohol and also I'm gonna be watering them with a, with a neem oil um, into the soil as a soil drench in a week's time. 
don't want to take any chances. <laughs> so here we go, guys. That's what I'm going to be doing now is putting them into size order and working out which one's going to be putting into the, the larger clay pots and which one's going to be putting into the, the smaller little five centimeter plastic pots. Now that's them all put out all into size order. And I've got the four biggest ones there that's going to be going into these clay pots because obviously they're wider and deeper. And then all the other ones, I'm going to be putting into these little five centimeter pots and um, a couple of the very small ones I could put into the same pot. So what I'm going to be doing now is putting a little bit of soil at the bottom of them before I place them into their new little pots. So now I'm going to pot up the four big ones first into the clay pots. And if you want to know what that tapping noise is in the background, it's rain hitting the, hitting the roof of the polytunnel. Very relaxing. <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you the first two of these and then show you them when the four are done in the clay pot. And then I'm going to do the same with when I pop the smaller ones into the, the other smaller pots. So here we go. So there's a bit of soil in the bottom as well also. You want to make sure there's it. There's soil at the bottom. And then I'm going to be putting the soil all around. Whoops. All on here. All around the edges. So the roots are completely covered. And uh, Cory Panther. They have quite a large... Uh, as you can see here, I'll just show you quite a big taproot. So it's really important that the soil you use is very well draining, which is why I'm using this one. Because they can be very rot prone if you uh, put them up into any type of soil. There has to be a very well draining cactus soil. And uh, hotten it up then up to the neck. So there's lots of grit in this one as well. And pumice and lava rock. That's the first one done. And then I'm going to show you the second one. And I can show you when these are all done then. Make sure them roots are covered. Very relaxing with the rain, hitting the roof of the polytunnel. Very therapeutic. <laughs> Gently tap it down. That's the second one. And then I'll show you when uh, all the four of these are done. Now there you go. That's the four larger ones all potted up in the clay pots. Very nice. And now I'm going to start on the little smaller pots here for the smaller ones. And I'm just going to show you a couple of examples. And then I'm going to show you when it's all done. Because otherwise it would be a very long video. So here we go. Get a bit of soil in the bottom again there. Gently placing it in. And then uh, put that on there so less mess. Putting the uh, soil around. Gently making sure the soil is all around the edges of the pot so the, the little young cactus is nice and secure in its new little pot. <laughs> and gently tapping it down like so. Little cuties. So there we go. That's the next one. Take that off, whatever that is. And the next one, move that so you can see a bit more what I'm doing here. This one here, again, a bit of soil in the pot. A bit there. I'll use the bigger spoon, I think. And then uh, soil all around and the edges. You want to make sure that all the roots are covered and the soil is up to the neck of the cactus. Very lovely. And that's that's it with all of these. So I'm going to carry on now doing all the rest as you can see here. There's a lot to get through, so it'd be a very long video otherwise. So I um, showed you a couple of examples, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Now that's them all completely potted up, aren't they cute guys? And now all I've got left to do is just write all the labels on and uh, get them all put into the pots. And hear that rain guys. It is so therapeutic hitting the roof. There you go guys, that's all of them all labelled. 
with the name and also 2015 the year I sowed the seeds and that's a good job done I have to say so as I say if you want to know how to grow cacti from seed as I mentioned the links will be up above and also down below in the video description and if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents or you just want to check my website out please do desertplantsofavalon.com and if you haven't done already please do subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Bye from all these little cuties.